We're going to take a look at uh, modeling up this little uh, spring component. So let's get started. I'm going to start from scratch with a part uh, template. And the main part of the shape has to do with a uh, kind of like a conic or a cone. So I'm going to start a new sketch on the front plane. And I'll just start kind of modeling up a little bit of a cone shape. And we'll put a couple dimensions on it. And we'll select both these guys and make them equal. So with that, just about done. Um, I want a nice smooth transition from the center of the uh, helix uh, going to the, the little conic shape or the cone shape here. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and place some fillets on here. So let's make them about two inches. And we'll just select on the endpoints there. And then I want some end pieces to come out. And I'm going to put these a little bit outside and draw another little line just right inside there. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So a small line and then a larger line. And then I'm gonna select on the two larger ones, make them equal. And then select on the two smaller ones, uh, make them equal as well. We'll go ahead and put some dimensions on it. So make these guys about an inch and a half. And right on this guy, we'll make him uh, right about an inch. Now, the reason why I wanna add this guy in here is uh, when I'm transitioning from the cone to here, the problem is if I just transition from there to the end point here, then what'll happen is it'll have to make kind of like a little lazy S. It'll have to come tangent here, but then as I come tangent to the edge of the cone, let me make a little tangent relationship there. Then what'll happen is uh, this guy will make kind of like a little lazy S curve. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and transition this out so that way wherever the point is that I stop here, I'll have a nice smooth transition uh, from that uh, edge of the cone to this, this guy right here. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and make these guys, actually I'm going to make all these guys construction for now. We're going to use them um, in the 3D sketch in just a minute. So with that, we're going to go to the Surfaces tab. If you don't have Surfaces, right click on any of the tabs and click on surfaces. That'll get you your surfaces ribbon. And we're gonna go to revolve uh, surface. I'm gonna select this as my center line and I'll just hit okay. So now I have kind of like a spool. It's got a cylinder in the middle, uh, two cones on each side, and then a uh, semi-torus on, on for the fillets. So the next thing I need is a, a an area right around here where I want to go ahead and uh, create the transition. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and sketch uh, again off the front plane, just do a new sketch. I'm gonna go ahead and show my existing sketch one there. And then I'm just gonna draw two lines. I'll go ahead and make them equal. And I'll go ahead and drag uh, off to this coincident Put a dimension on this, make that guy about 1.25. And I need to put the same dimension on the other side. And I'll go ahead and do equal sign, select on the other dimension, make those guys equal. That should look pretty good. I'll go to insert, do a split line. I'm going to use the current sketch, and then I'm just going to split both these faces. So you can see it split this up, so that way I can select these surfaces a little bit separately. Next, we'll go ahead and turn off our original sketch. In fact, I may need him. Let me go ahead and leave him on. And I need to create a plane for my, uh, my helix. So we'll go ahead and fly the uh, part down. I'm going to use the uh, right side plane, and then I'm going to select on this little endpoint, that line create my, uh, my plane. So then I'm gonna sketch on that. I'm gonna go ahead and just steal this little edge right there, or this guy. So we'll do a convert entities. And then from there, we'll go into insert curve, and do a helix spiral. 
going to go ahead and change this to uh, height and resolution. Uh, I do want it to start. So let's go ahead and change this guy to a 90. That way it starts at the top, kind of right where my sketch uh, ended off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do three revolutions. And I need to know what the length of this guy is. I really don't know what it is. I'm going to just go ahead and say OK to whatever it is. Go ahead and turn off our plane. And on the sketch, I need to go ahead and edit this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and place a dimension uh, right there for that guy. It's a, uh, I want to leave it as a driven dimension. So you'll see it's kind of grayed out. And we'll exit out of the sketch. I want to go ahead and show my annotations. There we go. And then I'm going to double click on the helix spiral. That gives me that 299 dimension. Double click on that. And I'm going to say equal to, and I'm going to e make it equal to that driven dimension there. So then we'll rebuild. That way the helix is always going to stay the exact same width of whatever that line is there. So we'll go ahead and turn these guys off. Turn off our sketch now. And now I'm ready to make my transition from the helix spiral uh, down to my, uh, my end, end point down here. So we're just going to do a 3D sketch. So we'll fly out the sketch, do 3D sketch. And I'm going to steal some of the geometry. So let's turn this guy back on. I'm going to convert that entity from this guy over here. Go ahead and turn him back off. And then we just need to transition from that guy over to him. So a couple things I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to go ahead and do an uh, intersection curve. And I'm going to do this between uh, this front or top plane and this face and that face. So that way I get some of these little lines out there. So I'm going to go ahead and change them over to uh, construction geometry. And then I need a nice smooth contour from this guy over to here. So I'm just going to do the uh, spline command, do a two point spline. Go ahead and select. And then I'm going to pick on these two lines, hold control, do a tangent, and then again a tangent from these two. And that way I get a new, nice smooth transition. It's not a lazy S or anything like that. It's actually going just from one to the next. I need to do the exact same thing over here. So just regular spline. Select two entities, tangent, and these two entities, and make them tangent. So it looks good. All right, then we need to transition from this guy all the way up into this, this guy right here. So I'm gonna do a, a spline on surface. And I'll pick on a couple of these little pieces there, right click, go into select mode. Uh, and then I need to just put them both together. So I'll just do a drag and a drop. And then select on the spline, select on that spline, make them tangent. So now I got a nice smooth transition from one to the next. Uh, then I need to go up from here up to the, uh, the helix. So I'm just going to drag, kind of like I did in the other one, just drop it on there. And then I need to do a, a tangent relationship from that guy to the helix. Now, once that's done, you can see the control points are actually making it not, do something that's not so smooth. I just wanted to kind of put something out there. So I'm going to come back into the control points, just hit delete. And that way I got a nice smooth transition. It's just a two point spline from one, one point to the next. Uh, then all I have to do is repeat this on the other side. So spline on surface. Now in 2004 or 2003, uh, 13, uh, you may actually have to uh, do this spline as two other additional segments as it may not transition from one to the other in 2013, 2014. Tangent. Same thing here. Move the tangent. And then we'll come back in and delete the points. So now I've got a good looking spline. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is to steal the, uh, the helix. So we'll do a convert entities. 
So that way it's also part of the 3D sketch. Then we can hide our surface body. So now we've got a nice smooth transition all the way around. So we'll finish out of the 3D sketch. I just need to make a uh, plane. So do reference geometry plane. Select on the end line and the end point. It'll be normal to that line uh, on the point of that end point. We'll go ahead and uh, draw a little circle. Rotate around so you can kind of see where that's at. Go ahead and apply our dimensions. I will make them half inch. And that's it. Finish out of the sketch. And we've got a profile and a path, so we're just going to do a sweep. And we'll hit, hit OK. Go ahead and hide our uh, helix spiral there. And now we've got a good looking transition uh, from a straight section. A couple little transitions as it moves up and around, goes into the, uh, the helix and then back on out. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.